So Simon, we are days away from the biggest, most anticipated game of the season. How has preparation gone this week? Yeah, good so far. Um, Tuesday's session was a, a sort of a clean up and review of the Sheffield game. We put that one to bed. Um, yeah, everyone was smiles on face and I think Dad which has a bit of a different feel to it. Last night we got into Bradford, um, you know, focused on, on them, you know, what they're going to bring, which we knew already anyway, we were halfway through now, we've all seen enough of each other, so, yeah, everyone's looking forward to it, I think there's just a nice feel and I think Ilya, probably both coaches talk, might make the same comment about motivation, when you get to Derby week, you know, motivation is not really something we need to press too much, um, but also, outside of that, it's third v fourth, so, there's a bit on the a bit on the line in terms of what he can do for his later in the season as well. So, yeah, we're looking forward to it, and it's a big one. And you know, these are the games the players want to play in, and obviously, hoping for a decent crowd as well. And it'll be the biggest we've had for a while. So, yeah, it all makes for a good fixture. I mean, obviously, if we win, it'll be great for uh, the team and for the club. It'll be eight wins on the trot. Uh, do you think that would give you guys the confidence to go all the way and try to compete for that top spot? Oh, I think we've got as work cut out to do that. I think a couple of teams have got it sewn up, haven't they? But no, look, I think a win would be great for us, confidence-wise. Um, but it's not the be-all and end-all. I think there's a long way to go yet, and a few more twists. Um, yeah, but getting in those playoffs is the main is the main focus, and hopefully finishing in a good spot as well. Um, and then after that, I suppose you just don't know, do you? John Keir um, spoke uh, quite highly of uh, the club and said that obviously. He knows that we, uh, you, you've said yourself that the games have not been won in the best way, but he did say that, uh, you know, to win seven on the trot, we must be doing something right. What, what, how would you respond to that? Yeah, that's nice, John. I think, look, I think as much as we're rivals, there's still obviously a respect for Bradford. We, we appreciate what they bring to the game and, and hopefully they do us. Um, and yeah, John's right. We've, I think someone said to me the other day, don't get this out of context, but champion teams win ugly sometimes. Um, and that's what we've been doing. We've done a few of them. I think we've had a, we have had a bit of a dip in form and kept picking up the uh, picking up the wins. Um, and, you know, hopefully now we need to turn around, turn that corner, and come out the other side and get back on track, and also obviously keep the wins coming. That's what we're after. But I think that's two teams in the same mould. That you know they have probably won a few games that have been spectacular in as well. So, but both have got in that habit of winning as well. So John Keir also mentioned that uh, their defence against Featherstone was a bit hit and miss sometimes. Is that an area that you feel we can capitalise on? Yeah, of course. And I think if they watch us against Sheffield, they'll think exactly the same. Uh, I thought we had an off day against Sheffield defensively where we've been pretty strong throughout this, you know, this period where we've been winning. So we need to get back on track this week. But yeah, definitely. I've watched, I've watched a few games of Bradford and you know, they've got some, some traits, as we all have, that, that I'm sure... They'll try to capitalise on the traits we have and we'll try to capitalise on theirs. But I will say it's been difficult watching their games because the pitch probably not a true reflection of, well, of every other pitch so out there. So you can't take too much from it because some stuff's a bit easier on that field and some stuff is a bit harder. So yeah, I'm not taking a great deal from it. I'm not saying form goes out the window for a derby game, but I think you know there's a bit more than a normal league game on the line. So I expect them to come and be the best version of Bradford and we'll be the best best version of Halifax Panthers. We've got a lot going on uh, at the stadium as well, um, you know, because of COVID restrictions being lifted now. We've got bands, we've got uh, stuff for the kids and all that. Do you think that's just going to add to the great atmosphere and get the players pumped up for the game? Yeah, definitely. I think the club have obviously gone to a fair amount of effort to get this organised um, in a short period of time because obviously the, the rules changing as and when and, and whenever, you know, the powers that be like so I think there's a lot of effort gone in I just really hope people turn up and enjoy that as well it's not just about what's on the field they've put a good effort in to make sure it's a good family day off the field there's a ton of people here in the stand as I speak now who are, who are cleaning the seats and you know getting everything out it needs to be ready for the game at the weekend so yeah a lot of work goes in every week behind the scenes and it's always appreciated from the lads and, and hopefully the fans can enjoy it